Well, back again, back again, and today is Saturday, but still, it is indeed the Friday fix, and this is the 56th episode, so yes, we are indeed cracking on, and a massive thank you to everyone who joined me last night, uh, not last night, on Thursday night, for live and not complying, we touched on the Twin Towers and World Trade Centre 7, uh, check it out if you haven't seen it, but this is the Friday Fix, and our topic of interest today is indeed lockdown, or should I say, imprisonment, because that's what it is. And it is all thanks to our wonderful government, our ever-trustworthy government. All hail the government, sure. Of course, they hang our freedoms in front of us. They dangle it like it's the golden carrot that you can only get if you behave, if you play ball, if you go along with every single tyrannical fucking thing that they put on you. Of course, you're not just in prison in a physical sense, but a mental sense. And we did call this way, way fucking back now. This is one of the first videos that I done in regards to lockdown. When I said, I remember saying on Facebook that lockdown was coming and people laughed and said it was a conspiracy. Sure, we touched on it at the very start. That was from the 6th of March 2020. And what one of the things we touched on was the effects of imprisonment. There are also more general difficulties, yep, with being imprisoned. Experiences of fear, anxiety, loneliness, trauma, depression, injustice, powerlessness, violence and uncertainty. Yep, does it sound familiar? I bet it fucking does. We will touch on that again. But yeah, let's get into the latest in terms of this week. The Independent, 47 minutes ago, this was on Friday. Sydney lockdown extended by a month. And they now have a curfew, a nighttime curfew, keeping everyone safe, all nice and safe, locked up in their jail cell. Straight up, Australia at the moment is getting a hammering big time. The curfew in Sydney, 9pm until 5am. Hip hip hooray, right? I bet the people of Sydney are ecstatic and are jumping for joy. Sure. So what's this about? Why a lockdown? Well, it's the Delta Scariant. Remember? Look out for the Delta Scariant in the UK because they will pull the exact same fucking bullshit. It's a circus that rolls into town. Look out for it. But hey, if you're a person of Sydney, you can stand up against it, right? Well, no. This guy who organised a protest, he got the jail. Eight months he got. Uh, this came out this week. So they're now jailing people who want to protest. Talk about fucking tyranny. It is crazy. The age, two hours ago, this being on Friday. Lockdown set to tighten as outbreak right on the edge. They're on the edge. They're going to have to tighten it. People must be dying all over the place. The streets littered with bodies. 
I very much doubt it. Right, and they're talking here, this guy, this Premier, Daniel Andrews, another absolute fucking criminal who needs stopped and dealt with. He says it's spiralling out of control. Yeah, sure. Who's he trying to kid? Himself? Just another Rockefeller lapdog promoting the fucking agenda. It is in full fucking swing now. And we have said before, it's 1984 on steroids. Well, you can times that by 10 when it comes to Australia. I have a good friend, a subscriber from Australia who I chat with uh, quite a lot now. And from what I'm hearing, it is not good over there. It is mental. And at the moment in Scotland, it's not too bad. But fucking hold that thought, right? And we will touch on Scotland at the end of the video. And Saint Nicola, Saint Nick Sturgeon, Hitler 2. Point fucking O. Hitler back from the dead. But this time, he's had a sex change. It's Sturgeon. Shock horror. Anyway, in terms of lockdown, France 24, 58 minutes ago, Friday, as Convid deaths surge, Sri Lanka prepares for lockdown. Hip hip hooray, I bet they are delighted. Sure. Euro news, one hour ago, Asia extends lockdowns, adds curbs to fight surge in Delta infections. Wow, ain't that wonderful? And it's the Delta scariant again. Shock horror. Reuters, two days ago, Japan extends COVID emergency lockdown as cases surge. Sure, I bet it's the Delta scariant again. Al Jazeera, six days ago, Iran, fucking Iran. Iran announces six-day lockdown amid surge in COVID cases. That'll be the Delta a lot of people think that Iran is not controlled or manipulated. I'm sorry, think again. They all are straight up. Uh, Vietnam, again, into lockdown. Shock, horror. Business tech, four hours ago. South Africans hammered by 500 days of lockdown. I guess that's a new song for the proclaimers, right? Look out for it. NBC or ABC, some kind of news outlet. Nine hours ago, Tasmania unveils lockdown plan. Wow. If state records community cases. Yeah, the Delta scariant. Look out for it. These lockdowns are here to stay. Straight fucking up. This one here, newsletter, two hours ago. Lockdown has edged us towards a greener way of living. Wow, ain't that amazing? What a coincidence. Uh, I guess we should be grateful for the lockdown. Yep, it's all part of the agenda. Straight up. Leicestershire Live, eight hours ago. Lester Mann driven to suicide by online gambling addiction that he picked up during lockdown. Of course, suicide is another massive, and I mean massive, symptom of lockdown. It is happening everywhere. The Jerusalem Post four hours ago, third dose will stop fourth COVID lockdown. <laughs> sure, uh, sure it will. Let's go with that one. The Jerusalem Post, again, one day ago. Who is to blame for another lockdown? Yeah, because they need someone to blame, someone to take the blame, even. I wonder who they could blame. I bet you can guess. It will indeed be me and you.
the sensible ones, the ones that don't want the poison. The Wall Street Journal, 20 hours ago, anxious about talking to people after lockdown? Surely not, right? What has happened? Well, people have just experienced home imprisonment and now are feeling the effects of it. We called it every fucking bit of it. This study here came out this week. Um, it's on the effects of COVID-19 lockdowns on the mental health of dental students. 13th of August 2021. And to expand on it a wee bit, the lockdown increased the likelihood of female, single and junior students experiencing stress. The students who lived alone recorded a high chance of elevated levels of depression, anxiety and stress, which showed a significant longitudinal reduction during the lockdown. Moreover, the lockdown increased the likelihood of mental health problems among the students staying in households of two persons or two to five persons. So even staying with other people, they still experienced depression, anxiety, stress, mental health issues, all due to the illegal fucking lockdown. The people behind these lockdowns, they need stopped. Not only stopped, but convicted. Straight up. To expand on lockdowns a bit more, uh, I thought we could look at some of the latest in terms of the school, because the schools have went back here in the UK. Uh, this one here, uh, this one cracked me up. The Economist, 21 hours ago, out of lockdown, Britons are discovering other viruses still exist. Right, so people forgot that there was seemingly other viruses. Where have they been? Have we been hiding from them? Sure, what a great idea that would have been. Hiding, locking yourself away, not being used to certain germs. We called it at the start. We were asking for trouble. And now people have forgot that there is seemingly uh, what they call other viruses. Shock horror. The Telegraph, 14 hours ago. The government must act now to avoid a winter lockdown. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> of course, this is in the UK. They're now talking about having to act to avoid a winter lockdown. It is coming. Straight up. The Guardian, 20 hours ago. English schools told to delay seeking help with small COVID outbreaks. To delay it. Right, so it's only an emergency when they want it to be. How fucking fitting. Sure. Three days ago, the BBC. Urgent call for COVID safe ventilation in schools. Right, because the virus... It is, what, in the air? So they need to ventilate it. They can't put the kids outside. Surely not in the UK. Well, Richmond and Twickenham, nine hours ago, schools will be asked to teach outdoors. Yep, outdoors. And that is if only a mere five people or five pupils Test positive for the mysterious COVID. Wow. The Guardian, three days ago. UK medical schools must teach about climate crisis. See, students. So, clearly now, the climate crisis is also a medical crisis. Who'd have thought it, right? All tying in 
nicely with the agenda, agenda 20 fucking 30, the sustainable goals and development, we are not worthy, it is fucking here, big time, anyway, that is lockdown out the way, now we will have the very latest in the done previously fought syndrome, the deception continues, shock horror, science daily, August 19th, our syndrome champions, they are the world champions at the syndrome, I shit you not, study of Tyrannosaur, brain case, or brain cases even, shows more variation than previously thought, wow, so they can't even get a skull, right, a dinosaur's skull, or what they call a dinosaur's skull, it's taken another turn, would you Adam and Eve that, the dinosaurs have the syndrome, shock horror, India Times, 8 hours ago, Bennu the asteroid poses more danger to earth than previously, hmm, I wonder, of course, previously thought, Asteroid, Bennu, it has the syndrome. Would you Adam and Eve it? The Independent one day ago. Pompey Mummy hints at more multicultural society than previously thought. Right, so what's going on here? History takes another twist. Who'd have thought it, right? Royal Dutch Shell. One day ago, methane emissions from oil and gas are even worse than previously thought. Shock fucking horror. Emissions has the syndrome. <laughs> Would you believe it? KIFI, two days ago, young men had higher rates of COVID than previously thought. Right, so... Last year, they thought it was low, but this year, they're saying that last year, it was higher. It's the mystical, magical convid. Of course, you can have it, and this deadly disease can be in you, but you'll be fine. That's how mystical and magical the convid is. Sure, this one here uh, cracked me up. Three days ago, everyday health. Metabolism may not decline with age as previously thought. Right, so they know nothing about metabolism. Is there anything in the world that they know about? To be honest, I don't think there is. This one here, uh, some of you may like the sound of this one. Men's Health, 17 hours ago. Beer? may be a better post-workout drink than we previously thought. Yeah, sure, getting absolutely blutered is a great idea before you go running, swimming, weightlifting. Yeah, it is 2021 after all. Anyway, that is this week's Syndrome Roundup. Now we will touch on some other news from throughout the week. Let's get into it. I news one day ago. One third of compost is bad for the environment. Wow. So this compost that they have been making and telling everyone to use, it's great. It's better than normal soil. It's wonderful. Use it. Whoops. It's actually bad. What a fucking surprise, right? BBC two days ago, US lab stands on the threshold of key nuclear fusion goal. Hip hip hooray. How exciting. Sure. The Bill Gates Guardian one day ago cashed out. A fond farewell to coins and notes. Yeah, because of COVID, right? 
the germs, the virus. Well, no. The agenda to get rid of cash has been in motion for fucking decades. The pandemic is the final nail in money as we once knew it. The Economist, 18 hours ago, Bojo, the absolute clown of a man, promises to take in more Afghan refugees. Right, so we went from fighting the Afghans to taking them in. So from protecting our freedom to giving them our freedom? What exactly is going on? Of course, there are many, many twists and turns regarding the Afghan situation. It is full of deception and manipulation. And we, Nicola, we Saint Nick has been tweeting and Scotland are going to take 20,000. Yep, 20,000 Afghan refugees. And to begin with, 5,000 this year already. Just like that. Almost like it was pre-planned. Now, I have seen people say that what we are about to experience is an invasion. And I think they could be right. The people that are coming over, it's not refugees. It's the fucking Taliban. Paid and funded by the CIA, the American government. Add to that, the British government. The only war is the war on us. Straight up. Anyway, on that note... I will indeed leave it for today. I will be back again on Sunday with a vaccine update on Spreaker. I can't do it here uh, on YouTube. Uh, I will, once I have completed it on Spreaker, it will be live. I will then put it out on Odyssey and BitChute. And a massive thank you to everyone on Odyssey and BitChute and people who have already joined me on Spreaker, because my time on YouTube is not far away from being up. They want me gone once again. Shock horror. I'm already on one strike, so it's only a matter of time now. Anyway, get out there. Have fun. Have a great weekend. Do not comply. And that is about it. Bye-bye.